All right, everybody. We are, I don't even know where the hell we are. I think we're in Sioux City, Iowa, because we are picking up a new set of wheels for the Ram. I will be showing you guys when we get there, but they are fuel wheels, 20 by 10, and they're chrome, bright fucking chrome. I'm absolutely gonna love it. I think it's gonna look beautiful with the black on the truck, but I will show you guys when we get there. Bag secured. As you can see, we have made it back to the garage. These are the wheels. They are Fuel Triton. They're 20 by 10. As you can tell, those look a hell of a lot nicer than those. And these are on a, where is it at? A 275, 65, 20, which is about a 34 inch taller. And those are a 35, 12, 50, 20. So those are taller and they're gonna be wider than these. I mean, we can even, Put them up to compare them. Right? Well, to be 100% honest with you, these ones are actually the same exact size due to these having absolutely no tread on them. So I was a little bit afraid with those being a 275 that they were going to look a little bit goofy, but they are just about the exact same size. So I think they're going to look really good. All right. So I've got my breaker bar. I have my spine tool. And I got my socket that fits my spline tool. Uh, before I'm gonna jack it up, I'm gonna crack all these wheels loose. And I'm gonna jack it up and throw some new wheels on it. drive right to the outskirts of South Dakota. I was about mm, six miles or so outside of Iowa. So I drove an hour and 47 minutes to get these wheels and I took this old hog. So I think after that drive she deserves some new shoes and uh, the truck's going to look pretty damn good. It has 275, 65, 20, uh, Falcon Wild Peak HTO2s, and they're pretty new. They have pretty good tread. Uh, I want to say they only got a couple thousand miles on them. Uh, whereas these ones I currently have, I have Firestone Destinations, and they probably have like 70,000 miles on them. They're pretty bald. Basically non-existent anymore for driving in weather. So if you can't tell by the way the truck looks, it's raining outside. It is soaking wet everywhere and these tires hydroplane so easy because they're so bald and so damn wide. So these 275 65s are not as wide, but they are on just as wide of a rim. So I'll show you the comparison between the two when I get them off here. Now, all of these are, all of the new tires are about even on tread. There is no difference between front and rears, which is nice. But I don't know if you can see here the difference between these rims. Well, those look a hell of a lot nicer than these ones do. And I'm thinking they're about the same offset. That is really my biggest fear is I am hoping that these wheels are not going to be more sunken in because the offset isn't as aggressive. But we are going to find out right now. As you 
can see as well on the drive, which is about four hours of total drive time, it just blew up paint off my bumper, which is very disappointing. But if we look here, you can see we're looking at those rear tires here. They do still stick out, which I like. A little bit of poke. And they look fucking gorgeous on there. I do feel like I have a little bit more gap here, which I like. But yeah, going from this to that is a hell of an upgrade. And the tires, I mean, you can see here, just based off of my hand, they're not even close to as wide. <clears throat> All right, so this is our next step, which is very important, which is our torque wrench here. Now for these third gen Rams, uh, specifically the five lug, they get torqued too. As you can see, I don't know if you can actually read any of these, but there's a line that goes down the center and there's a zero through nine that goes around this ring here. As you spin it, like this right here would be 149 foot pounds and then back to the zero is 150. Make sure it clicks, doesn't spin. We throw our socket on, our adapter, and we're good to torque the wheels down. One of my favorite mottos in life is never trust anybody or anybody's work because this guy did warn me. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there, but I cannot be, son of a bitch. Never mind. take two. I cannot be driving my truck around. Cannot be driving my truck around on 22 PSI of air. So I'm going to check the pressures all the way around and never trust anybody's work. And that includes your own. So we are going to check these, every single one of them. Obviously these, this back one needs air. So I will take it up and fill them and we should be good to go. in here and I think there is a massive massive change it looks like a completely different truck in my opinion now I do think I will be doing a spacer on them I do think they need to be a little bit wider because they are only a 10 wide and the offset is a little bit less aggressive than my last wheel so they stick in maybe I don't know half inch more than they did before so I do think I'm gonna do an inch to an inch and a half spacer get them to poke out a little bit further to kind of give it that look I want and then uh, I'm going to run these Falcons until they're basically completely gone and it's gonna get a 33 inch mud tire I don't know what HT means for Falcons, but this thing needs a mud terrain tire, in my personal opinion, to get the, the whoa, to get the look that I am looking for. Uh, I just want it to look meaty, and I want a good stance on it. So that is pretty much it. It's kind of shorter. Uh, I didn't really record any of the drive because all it did was rain. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, there's, I mean, there's a big ass puddle right here. All it did all day was rain, nothing else. All it did was rain. It was so annoying. And it was windy as shit. And it was hard to even drive up there as well. And I had to go into South Dakota an hour and 40, like five minutes away. So I didn't want to record as it was. I wasn't too excited to make the drive. Um, but I did buy them. And I got a hell of a deal for them. I found them on Facebook Marketplace. So, I mean, they are brand new with tires it's about 3200 bucks to put these tires on with these wheels and i did not pay that so that being said the truck looks amazing compared to what it did and i am so excited to see what else i am going to do in the future i do have some things lined up for the truck 
I have some rain visors coming, but whoop de doo that doesn't really do a whole lot for the look of the truck. But I am going to be tackling the suspension on this truck next. Coming in probably the next few videos, I will be doing upper and lower ball joints. I'll be doing uh, sway bar links, uh, inner outer tie rods, and then it's getting some Fox shocks as well. So this thing should ride amazing. And then uh, within the next few, two weeks from now, I am going to have a new power steering pump for this truck and brand new lines for it as well. Because I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, typical Ram power steering pump is out in this big hog. So it is kind of hard to turn if I do not keep the reservoir full of fluid and it just spews power steering fluid everywhere. So that is my biggest tackle coming up next. I'm just waiting on a pump to be in, uh, I don't know, be able to be ordered. They've been back ordered. So I'm waiting for them to be in stock so I can get myself one. And uh, I mean, it's only 200 bucks to redo the whole set with a good pump and some new lines. So that is what we will be doing soon. Look forward to that. Peace out. Have a great rest of your guys' night. Hope you enjoyed the video.